The Uganda Women's Parliamentary Association has condemned the rising cases of domestic violence in the country and urged government not to let them get out of control. We have more. We call on Parliament to expedite the process of passing the Employment Amendment Bill 2019, which will ensure that rights of laborers are promoted and protected. Increase funding to government programs like WEP, which directly benefits the rural women that are majorly engaged in informal businesses. Promote accessible financial services from the financial institutions with affordable products for, for women who in most cases lack collaterals to put so that they can access financial services to better their lives. We also thank the president for advocating for attractive payment of doctors and scientists who are at the forefront of fighting the deadly coronavirus. We believe this will greatly motivate the scientists and help the government to reduce on the labor turnover as scientists would prefer now to stay and work in Uganda. World Press Freedom Day. WAPA cannot fail to speak about the World Press Freedom Day that was held on 3rd May. As an organization, the media have been our mouthpiece in the advocacy agenda. We continue to front at parliament. The press has always given our issues proper coverage, and as WAPA, we would like to say to you, press women and men, that thank you so much. We appreciate the media house owners as well. The day is aimed at celebrating fundamental principles of press freedom, evaluating press freedom around the world, defending the media from attacks on their independence, and paying tribute to journalists who have lost their lives in the exercise of this very prestigious profession. Parliament has always advocated for pre well, we'll take a break for now, but much of that will be coming in our subsequent bulletins.